What's up guys, you're watching episode number 55 of Mystery Monday! Entertainment Earth has sent us a full case of the Ghostbusters Titans vinyl figures and they have another case for us to give away to one of you guys. Are you ready, Mix? Right! Alright, let's do it! Alright guys, for those of you who have watched Mystery Monday for any amount of time at all, know that this is how we do it. We get a case of awesome figures from Entertainment Earth, we unbox them, and because Entertainment Earth is awesome and we love you, we also give a full case away to one of you guys. Now if you're not familiar with Entertainment Earth, I don't know how you couldn't be if you've watched any of our videos because we don't shut up about them. And not just because they send us stuff to one box is a mix. No. Jay often orders from Entertainment Earth without mix knowing. Jay gets in trouble, so sometimes I throw in a Doctor Who item. That usually works to get you out of trouble. And real quick, here's a couple things we like about Entertainment Earth. Number one. When you pre-order something at Entertainment Earth, you're not charged for it on your credit card until that item has hit their warehouse and then been processed to ship out to you. Number two, three, and four. They have a mint item guarantee, they have a low price guarantee, and they have a 90-day hassle-free return policy. And we like anything that says hassle-free in it. So we suggest that once you're finished watching this unboxing of the Ghostbusters Titan vinyl figures, you binge watch all our other videos of cases of figures that we got from Entertainment Earth, and then head over to their website, order the ones you like, and bring Hollywood home. Now let's get into the Ghostbusters mix. Yeah. Before we get started though, mix, tell us who is in this set. In this set, there's Spangler, Mystery Slimer, Stans, Vankman, Zedmore, a Mystery Stans, Ecto-1, Janine, Zool, Terror Dog, Keymaster, Gozer, Stay Puffed, a Mystery Stay Puffed, Slimer, and a Mystery Vankman. Nice. I want the Ecto-1. How cool is that? Yeah, that's cool if that's a mini. They have a mini ride. I want that Terror Dog. From our experience, when we open a full case, we get what, Mix? We get every regular figure. Yeah. And two of the mystery figures. The mystery figures are all 1 in 40, and the rest are all 1 in 20. So including the mystery figures, there's 16 in the set. Yep. We usually get 12 of the regular figures, two of the mystery figures were left hanging with needing two of the mystery figures, yeah? Yeah. Let's see if that happens again. What else we're looking for, you guys, is every other case of Titans except the Edwards. Something was up with that. Go back and watch. You'll see what we're talking about. Typically, the chase figures are right over here in the first row, aren't they, Mick? Yeah. Facing it to the right, right there. But it wasn't in the Edward figures. We think we were duped. <laughs> Let's see what's happening with the Ghostbusters, and we will keep a close eye on where those mystery figures are in this case, won't we, Mix? Yes, we will. All right, get the first one open. We are doing something a little bit different than our other full case giveaways. We're breaking this one into two videos, so we'll tell you how to enter at the end of the video, but there will be one episode, part one this week, part two next Monday, and the giveaway will run until next Monday. So who do we got first, Mix? I got the Ecto-1. Yes. <laughs> That's a good first one to get. No props with that, of course. Oh, it's so cute. It kind of looks like uh, just a little Ecto-1 toy that I probably had back when Ghostbusters first came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It has so many little gadgets on it. It's got the lights on the front, the ladder, some hoses, lights on the back, some tanks there. I don't really know what goes on the Ecto-1, but it has the fins on the back and it's got the little no-go sign on the sides and the back. Nice. So that looks really cool. I like that. That does that. look cool. That's really well done. All right, next up. I got the one I wanted already. <laughs> I don't know who I want now. I guess Slimer would be cool. The Terror Dog is the coolest one. Let's see. We got a, another Ecto-1. Oh, so I don't think that the pattern is messed up on these because usually the doubles are side by side. So you're saying it's back to how it was before? I think. I think maybe All it's right. going that way. All right, here you Usually, go, Mix. Set it up. Pretty sure that's how it's always been. Doubles, kind of side by side. Well, then this would be a chase. 
wouldn't it? It would be. Let's All right. See. <laughs> These two are usually chases, yeah? I love, yeah, that's okay. usually how it is. I love the chases. Oh, I wonder if the Stay Puff Chase is angry. Maybe. That'd be cool. This one, oh, it's. What is it? I think it's Ray. Oh, no, it's Bankman. And he's covered oh, in slime. So that's a chase? Yeah, this is right? a chase. Because he's covered in yeah. slime. So it's Peter Bankman covered in slime from Slimer. And he's got his proton gun. He's got his proton pack on the back, which also is covered in slime. His face is totally slimy. You can see his little name tag that says Bankman there. And he looks cool. His he proton look pack cool. looks good. And the cord going from the proton pack to the gun is like ridge tubing going from there so that looks awesome oh i love that i figured one of them yeah i figured it would be him that would be slimed yeah. i actually couldn't remember if it was him or ray that was slimed obviously it was peter i really <laughs> like this one i love lot. that awesome detail on the proton pack too oh i know that looks yeah. good they did that very well well i'm impressed so far and we only unboxed three so two this, different ones this one this should, should be a chase too a chase then. too let's see i always love chase figures let's see hold on they like surprises, I think. You guys know, I can't guess. <laughs> it could Let's be just open it and see. Slimer, Ray, or the Stapa. If it's a chase figure. Okay, it is. Let's see. Oh, oh! It's Ray, and he's covered in marshmallow. Nice. So there's Peter Slime, Ray, marshmallowed, and he. One sec, Mix. So the verdict is someone messed with our <laughs> Edward case. <laughs> Didn't they? They did. <laughs> he looks so cool. I think I couldn't remember if it was him or Peter that was slimed because I know that he gets marshmallows. So mm. he's covered in white that marshmallow. It's all over his hair. It's almost his entire proton pack is like covered in marshmallow. All down his shirt and back. And it says stands on his name tag there. And then he's got his proton gun. And he probably, his regular figure probably looks exactly like that. Just without the marshmallow. Now so, being a big fan of mini hair mix, what do you think of it getting all messed up? I love slime it. slime and marshmallow. I love it and I actually love their hair. He has a really receding hairline and then <laughs> Ray has a pretty receding hairline as well, but their hair is very nice. Yeah. I love it. I really like these so far. You? I'm glad we got the two guys covered in gunk yeah. as the mystery figures yeah, yeah, that's awesome. rather than the other two. All right, so we still going left or right mix? Yeah. All right. Okay, so now I want to see a terror dog. Uh, no, I think it's gonna be a. Oh, maybe it's the key master. The head feels big and lumpy. Oh, it's Janine. Janine has a big head. No accessories. She's got very nice hair as well. It's the short kind of style that she has. Her glasses are pushed halfway down her face, and she's got the little rope that attaches her glasses like around her neck. <laughs> nice. And she's got like a striped shirt on, a little vest, and then black pants. So she looks very business-like, ready to not take any flack from any of those guys. <laughs> she looks good. My turn, Mix. The first five are pretty cool figures. I love getting those mystery figures, but when I know where they are, then I'm kind of like disappointed because I know there's not going to be any more. <laughs> well, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I know. They're my favorite. I, I love really the mystery ones. Yeah, yeah. Get a bad guy. What do we got? Oh, I think it's Stay Puff. Oh. Could we get a third mystery figure in this one? No. <laughs> I know that won't happen. All right. Yeah. Oh, Stay Puff. <laughs> and he has the best, like, happy, angry face. Nobody else can pull it off like that. He looks like, <laughs> he looks so excited to be wrecking the city. He's got his, like, little white hat. It says Stay Puffed and the little red ribbon hanging off of it. And he's got his sailor outfit on that come off oh no but he does articulate all the way and yeah he's got the little sailor knot tied around his neck so he looks cool I love the expression on his face it's well sculpted yeah it's got awesome. like a lot of emotion there I really want to see what the chase figure for him is oh I know it's either gonna be burnt or toasted or toasted yeah <laughs> all right come on terror dog I don't want to get through this half with no terror dog uh oh I think that's maybe my favorite Favorite character? No. <laughs> Ray is my favorite character, I'm pretty sure. Four more figures for part one, Mix. Oh, it feels big. What is this? I don't even know. It actually feels like, st oh, it's another Stay Puffed, I think. Yeah, it's Stay Puffed. Boom. I do like that the doubles are side by side, because then we know which yeah. ones are going to be doubles. All right, my turn then. On. I like how that works. <laughs> it's quickly my turn again. And this won't be a double then. No. Unless there's like triples in this box. We're getting really good at Titan math, I know, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Right. Titan logistics, really. Yeah. 
Come on, Mix. <laughs> Let me just say math, all right? All right. It, it? Whoa, major vinyl smell from that one. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. It is. It's slimer. Oh, oh, oh what's going on? You know what, I bet his legs don't fit in the bag. Oh, I so wonder. they have to pack those separately. Maybe. That's pretty cool though. Or maybe they just fell off. But he looks awesome, especially with, you know, all of the legs on him. He's got little horns coming out of the top of his head, big horns. Then he's got like, I think they're little tiny horns or maybe just ridges all around his mm -hmm. face. Then he's got massive teeth in his mouth and big fangs and red eyes. He's got a mean look on his face. He's got big claws on his <laughs> four paws and back paws. All four legs articulate as well. Except cool. I don't want to try articulating the back yeah, legs because they too were much. Off. We're not sure if they were off in the bag on purpose so he fits or if they just fell off in the bag. But it was really hard to get them back on. Yeah. And now that they're on, let's just leave it. Oh, you know what, actually? There's been other figures that you have to kind of put together. Yeah. And on one of them, the Dalek, you are supposed to kind of heat it up in warm water. So maybe if they were supposed to be off, maybe if we heated them up a little bit, they'd oh. go back in easier. Well, you think they put a little note? Yeah, in there. there was instructions with the Dalek, mm -hmm. which we didn't see until after. Yeah. All right, whose turn, Mix? Mine, I think. <laughs> How many do we have left to go for part one? Two more. Two more. Yeah. All right, there's yours. Well, I got my terror dog. I can stop now. Yeah. He looks as cool as I wanted him to look. <laughs> okay, this guy, oh, maybe the Keymaster? Big head, I think, although they all feel like they have big heads. So I just think yeah, everyone they do, is mix. the Keymaster. <laughs> no, I'm right this time, I'm right. No props in there, they always hide in the bottom of the bag. So this is Lewis, and the, but he's the Keymaster here. <laughs> That's awesome. He's got his crazy like helmet on. Pretty sure it's a colander, upside down with wires poking out of it. It actually looks like spaghetti is coming out of the bag. It does, actually, yeah, yeah. it does. And he's got his glasses, his eyes, eyes are red and he's got like the little chin strap that hooks the helmet onto his head. His shirt's all untucked, it's buttoned up wrong. Oh my god, he's just a total mess. That's but awesome. that is Lewis and I love this I love this actor. Rick Moranis? Is that yeah, his yeah, name? Yeah. yeah. I think he's another good Canadian boy. Yeah he is. Yeah. For sure. Him and Dan Aykroyd. Good I like movie. A, I like him and honey I shrunk the kids. Yeah. Okay last one. And that's me, Mix. Oh You're no. opening them out of order now. Wait a second, this one right? That one could be a double. Then you would have Messed up our whole system. Off camera, I would have been in a lot of trouble. Messing up the Titan logistics. <laughs> I'm not even sure if logistics would be the right word. Schematics, maybe. I'm gonna nah. go with schematics. Let's go with Titan math. They're toys, Mix. Okay? The blueprints. Alright. This one has a really big head. <laughs> maybe that's the devil. <laughs> oh yeah, it probably is. Oh no! Oh. Whoa! See? She does have a big head. Cool. Couldn't remember her name for a second. She has humongous mini hair. This is like, whoa, I don't even know That's what to do with myself. Ever on a mini. It's like Medusa hair. It's huge and it's like tendrils going every direction, which is actually what she looks like when yeah, she turns to Zool. I'm surprised there's not like a regular Dana in this set. Although I guess a Dana with crazy Zool hair would be way better. So she's got the dress with like the half shoulder. It just cuts over because she doesn't really have shoulders exactly. <laughs> so she's got like a little half sleeve and then the other side goes all the way up. And she's got all her makeup on, which she has a Zool. She looks really cool. And in case you guys didn't know, with all the Titans, their heads articulate and their arms. Right? Yeah. Almost all of them, except when they have hair like this that come past the shoulders, the hair stops the head from moving but still is able yeah. if you wanted to give it a haircut or whatever. <laughs> but just a little tidbit for you, don't go cutting the mini hair. Mix sometimes, will have a heart attack. Yes, sometimes their heads pop off trying to turn their heads when they have long hair. That's happened. I did that with a Buffy. I did it with a Rose from Doctor Who. All right guys, we're stopping here at 10. We're gonna do the other 10 on next week's Mystery Monday episode. Who was your favorite mix out of these 10 that we unboxed today? The terror dog easily is my favorite. You really like that terror dog, He's don't so you? cool. I don't want to pick the same as you today, Mix. I might have picked the terror dog, but since I don't want to pick the same as you, I think I'm going to go with the Ecto-1 because 
That's pretty cool having a car in the set. That is cool. You know, our favorites are usually the mystery ones, but this whole set is so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think they're really cool, <laughs> yeah. but I mean, I have to pick one, right? I know, yeah, and the tear dog is just so, like, vicious and crazy looking. I love them. If you could pick one, which one would it be out of the ten that we unboxed here today? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're down there, you're going to see a link that will take you to our website, and from there, you can enter to win a full case of the these Ghostbuster Titans vinyl figures. A full case of your own, you guys, unopened. Thank you very much again to Entertainment Earth for giving us the opportunity to unbox and review these awesome figures. And of course, giving us the opportunity to give a full case away to one of you guys. Make sure you don't forget to visit Entertainment Earth. Their link is in the description below as well. So that's it for part one, guys. Make sure you tune in for part two. And again, all the details on how to enter is on our website and you can get to that by clicking the link in the description and go to Entertainment Earth and just one more thing. While you're down there doing all that stuff, if you see an icon that looks something like this, click it and give us a thumbs up, right Mix? Right! And what else? <laughs> and subscribe! Subscribe to our channel, because we do Mystery Monday every single Monday. And you want to come back for part two to see the rest of these awesome Ghostbusters. And also, of course, be notified for all the other unboxing videos that we do in between the week. Thank you very much for watching. You guys, oh yes you! Rock!